Hello everyone, our topic for today is external features of heart. Now let us discuss them. It has four surfaces, three borders and three sulci. Now let us look at them separately. First let us discuss about borders first. In this diagram, we have the right border. This is the right border here. This is the left border and this is the inferior border. Let us mark the chambers in this diagram. Here we have right atrium and this is also right atrium here and the left auricle here and here also the left auricle and we have right ventricle here and the right ventricle here and left ventricle and also the left ventricle here. This is how we have the chambers in this particular diagram. Now let us look at them. We have three borders that is right, left and the inferior border. Right border is formed by right atrium. As we see in the diagram, this is the right atrium here and this right atrium forms the right border. This is the right border here and this is the right atrium here. Now let us look at the left border. Left border is formed by the left auricle and left ventricle. Let us see them in the diagram. This is the left auricle here and the left ventricle here. And this is the left border. This is formed by the left auricle and the left ventricle. Now let us look at the inferior border. Inferior border is formed by right ventricle and left ventricle. Let us see them in the diagram. This is the right ventricle here and this is the left ventricle. This is the inferior margin. So the inferior border is formed by the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Here in this diagram, now let us look at the borders. This is the right border of the heart. This is formed by the right atrium. This is the right atrium here. This forms the right border. This is the left border here. It is formed by the left auricle. This is the left auricle here. And also the left ventricle. This is the left ventricle here. Now let us look at the inferior border. This is the inferior border here. This is formed by right ventricle. This is the right ventricle here and the left ventricle. This is the left ventricle here. That's all about the borders. Now let us look at the surfaces. We have four surfaces. They are anterior surface or it is also known as the sternocostal surface. And the second one is diaphragmatic surface. And the third one is left surface, fourth one is right surface. The yellow one here is the anterior surface and it is also known as the sternocostal surface. And the green one here is the left pulmonary surface. And the violet one here is the right pulmonary surface. And this is the diaphragmatic surface. Now, let us look at them in detail. Sternocostal surface is formed by right auricle and the right atrium and the right ventricle and also the left ventricle. It is mostly formed by the right ventricle that is 2 by 3rd part of the right ventricle and 1 by 3rd part of the left ventricle. Now let us look at the diaphragmatic surface. It is formed by the left ventricle and right ventricle. Diaphragmatic surface is mostly formed by the left ventricle that is 2 by 3rd of left ventricle and 1 by 3rd of right ventricle. Now let us look at the left surface. It is formed by the left auricle and left ventricle. Now let us look at the right surface. It is formed by right atrium. Let us look at the surfaces in the heart diagram. First, let us see the sternocostal surface that is anterior surface. It is formed by the right atrium and a part of right auricle. This is the right auricle here. And mostly the sternocostal surface is formed by 
the right ventricle this is the right ventricle here and the left ventricle and also the left auricle all these four together form the sternocostal surface and the right surface is formed by the right atrium this is the right atrium it forms the right surface and the left surface is formed by the left auricle and the left ventricle these two together form the left surface and this is the diaphragmatic surface here this diaphragmatic surface is formed by left ventricle 2 by 3rd of left ventricle and 1 by 3rd of right ventricle this is the left ventricle and this is the right ventricle that's all about the surfaces now let us look at the groups we have three sulci they are coronary sulcus this coronary sulcus is also called as atrioventricular sulcus this is the coronary sulcus which separates atria and ventricles this is the right atrium here and these are the ventricles here it is present circumferentially around the heart this coronary sulcus contains right coronary artery small cardiac vein left coronary artery circumflex artery great cardiac vein and the coronary sinus we have right coronary artery the small cardiac vein the left coronary artery the circumflex artery the great cardiac vein and the coronary sinus and the second one is anterior interventricular sulcus this anterior interventricular sulcus present anteriorly in between two ventricles this anterior interventricular sulcus contains left anterior descending artery this is the anterior interventricular sulcus here also it contains the great cardiac vein and the last sulca is posterior interventricular sulcus this is the posterior interventricular sulcus here which is present posteriorly in between two ventricles this contains posterior inferior interventricular artery and also middle cardiac vein and that's all about the external features of heart thank you for listening if you like the content please do like share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching